Okay, this is a quick video that I'm going to call uh, tuning your water rocket launcher. So let's say you have a water rocket launcher. If yours looks like this, then you might have picked up one of my micro launchers off of eBay. And when I send them out, they're tuned to shoot, you know, sprite bottles. But interestingly enough, different bottles have different inner diameters. Like, uh, I found that Grape Crush is actually tighter than Sprite, and I have some lemonade bottles that are actually even wider. But there's a flare on this pipe that makes it so it'll, you can fit multiple bottle types. But sometimes you have to adjust the whole launch collar up or down, depending on what bottle you're using. But I'm going to show you how the locking mechanism basically works, and then how to adjust it with this particular bottle. So for the Sprite bottle, put it on there and that can obviously move up and down quite easily but then eventually it gets to a point where you can't push it down any farther that's because even though on the camera here it doesn't look like there's much of a difference in the tube, it looks straight it's actually flared so that it stops so it's not the heads here that are stopping it it's actually swollen and so the first thing you do you have to push it down to where it it hits that flare for a top seal, tough seal, and that's also the exact same point you want your locking heads to grip around the neck. Now if then this needs to slide up over them to lock it in place. Now these two zip ties here are actually the spring that holds it up together and keeps it bouncing up and down. Okay, so that's the basic gist. Now let me show you a couple things that could go wrong or you, that you might want to change on it. And almost all of this can just be adjusted by this particular, by loosening this hose clamp right here, either with a screwdriver or if you really want to crank it down, let's say you're doing high pressures, you could do it with an eight millimeter wrench to really tighten it. Oh yeah, so one of the first things Let's say you pick a different bottle or the type of pop you drink is different than Sprite. And for some reason, the it doesn't grab right here where mine does. Maybe it grabs higher up like this. Well, that means your heads aren't locking in anymore and you're gonna have to reach up and grab that. Or let's say yours is way down here. And you notice, I don't know if this is showing up very well. Sorry, the focus isn't very good, but you'll see that the neck is actually below in this step. In this situation, it's below the locking heads. That's a big deal because if you put it in this position and lock it, and this was your bottle, you lock it in, what's gonna happen is when pressure starts happening, it's gonna raise up, 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 till it does hit the locking point of the heads. And if you're right there at that seal point, now you're a couple of millimeters above the seal point, you'll start getting a leak. So what you want to do is you want to achieve it so the heads make contact immediately when you've got your bottle down as tight as you want it to go. So to adjust that, you'll push the bottle down as tight as you need to be. And then you can loosen this. You don't have to loosen it all the way, but just enough. And that'll make it, I'll show you that the entire assembly uh, here, the entire assembly can move up or down. So here again, loosen it up, it makes it so the entire assembly can move up or down. We got one string here holding on for. So if you have a bottle that likes to clamp right up here, you can raise it up to here and then tighten it down. If you have a bottle that wants to clamp way down here, you can bring it down to here and clamp it down. So depending on the height, you can change the adjustment. Now to make that proper adjustment, and one, if you ever ran out of, like if this is too thick, you could honestly just take scissors and cut off another whole inch if you need to go even farther. Now the proper method for doing that is you take your bottle, Sprite bottle, you load it here, and you keep pushing it and pushing it. It's going way past those heads, but you find until you get that tight seal. Okay, so that's the tight seal. I mean, I can pick up the whole thing just with the bottle now. But obviously, these heads are not where they need to be. So you'll loosen the clamp down here, 
and then you can pull them down, 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 down until they are pulling, but not past, until they are pulling on that neck, actually firmly pulling it down. So when you have it firmly pulling it down, so I'm still holding it down, that's when I'll tighten up the clamp and that will hold it into what we've designated to be the perfect position, the position where it meets the tight, tight, tight seal and also has the heads right in line. That way it won't raise up when we start pressurizing. Now one thing I do want to highlight is that when you do change any of the adjustments, you do need to crank this thing down as tight as you can. And it depends on your pressure, but the higher the pressure you're doing, the tighter you're going to want this clamp to be. Because if it's loose, this whole thing could slide upwards when you're pressurizing and you could get a false launch. For, for two, three, for one, it could just fling off the whole thing. But two, we've demonstrated what I'm showing right here, is you'll notice that the locking collar is actually, even though it's spring-loaded, right? It's currently riding below the heads. And that's a no-no because if it's riding below the heads, that means they can actually pull away from the neck and you could actually get a false start. So it could actually launch even though it's technically in the up position there. So you can also adjust the spring height of of the collar too. So that's what we're going to do next is adjusting the height of this collar so you don't have any false starts because if it's here, if you can see the black, it's too low. It needs to be covering it. And the reason is because covering it makes it so the heads can't move away from the neck until it's pulled down. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to adjust the locking collar so there won't be any false starts. And that's sort of similar to adjusting the height, but you don't have to loosen it quite as much. Just a little bit. And that'll make it so, I'm going to need to loosen a little bit more. All right. So you can raise these. I mean, honestly, you could take them all out. You could take the zip ties out. You can replace them with new ones. You could put four in them since there's actually two extra holes if you wanted extra spring force. But you'll take these and you'll raise them to increase the height at which it's going to lock. And so when I'm holding the springs up higher, I've already set the height of the where I want the heads to be, and now just to re-tighten it. There. Now the spring is held in a new place. Now you'll notice that we've increased the spring force, so it totally goes over the the black locking heads entirely. And you can raise that even up even more if you wanted to. Here, I'll make it even tighter. This one back up. Okay. So there you'd have a high spring force lock. Anyway, so that's the gist. Some of the basics of how to adjust one, the point that it's going to lock. So you take your bottle, force it all the way down until it meets stiff resistance. Then take your locking heads, loosen them up. You can position them up and down until they're tight up against the neck, right when you meet that same sealing force. And then also readjusting the spring height, or the zip tie height, so that you're definitely covering the locking heads. You don't want them exposed. And with that, you're set up to run the type of soda pop bottle that you, you like the most. Anyway, I hope this helps. And uh, if there's any questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks.